In this first look, we're going to take a, a, a glance at Windows Server 8, the upcoming operating system from Microsoft due to be released uh, later this year. We're just going to kind of take a, in this specific first look, we're going to take a, an initial glance at some of the navigation and administrative capabilities of the next Windows Server operating system. So let's take a look. Uh, at first glance, Windows Server 8 does not look uh, much different when we look at the taskbar, uh, new icon for server manager, uh, but the familiar PowerShell. This is PowerShell version 2.0 and Windows Explorer. We are missing one thing, and that's the start button. Uh, if we actually go over here, there is a little vertical line, uh, but, you know, does that actually do anything? Well, we'll find out. Now, server manager uh, and uh, server manager, we will see, is changed. Now, I'm going to take a look at this in, in much more detail in, the, uh, in an upcoming demo. But we can see some of the basics uh, are still there. Filtered view, the, the local server, filtered view of events, a uh, variety of, of things. We can also see the kind of breadcrumb navigation that has moved and access to a variety of uh, things, okay? Adding roles and features, adding additional servers, and uh, access to a variety of management options. So this would be one way to navigate to the different administrative tools would be actually through Server Manager. There's a bunch of snap-ins that, uh, that are built in there, okay? Uh, if you didn't use Server Manager, though, I found myself a little bit lost. You know, how do I get access to Control Panel? Sure, I can always uh, use the Windows R capability to open up the Run command and open up there you see Event Viewer or uh, Control Panel and go that way. But there has to be an easier way to get there. Well, one way is to open up Windows Explorer. One of the things we're going to notice in Windows Explorer, maybe not right away, but fairly quickly as we start to navigate around, is that the ribbon from Office 2007 and 2010 has now worked its way into Windows Explorer. I can already hear uh, groans from some and uh, excitement from others, you know. Some people really dislike the ribbon toolbar. Notice there we can expand and collapse that if needed. Um, but the whole point is that rather than menus, we've got a ribbon. And the ribbon provides the various options that I, I would need. For instance, you know, we select on an individual folder, then we've got whatever options we have. If I did possible email or burned a disk, some of these are related, of course, to the uh, uh, related to the client a little bit more than the server, but it's all right there. It's right in front of me. I can also customize uh, the quick access toolbar. Again, just like I can do in Office. Okay, so that's one difference. We were going here though because of navigation. Well, certainly one of the things you can do at the computer level here uh, is to go to Control Panel. Okay. So that's another way to get into Control Panel, and we can search it, would be to open up Windows Explorer. And I'm kind of making this look worse than it is. Um, the Metro type of interface, while not here completely, is here. If I move over, the Start button comes up, and if I click on that, then the entire screen goes to a more of a dashboard type of approach. Now, this is the Metro interface that's used in the Windows 8 client system. And there, it makes sense because it gives us quick access to all the applications, especially since Windows 8 is meant to be installed on, uh, uh, on tablet machines and touch screens. It would make a lot of sense. Here on server, not so sure it makes as much sense, but you can get to this screen by hitting the Windows key. Okay, hitting the Windows key, we can go right here. Now, what can we do from here? Well, we can select on the user account to lock the workstation or sign out. Uh, we can uh, go over here and we can view the, the desktop. Uh, we can view a variety of other, other programs, right? So the only currently, and this may change, uh, we have Server at Manager, we have PowerShell, Task Manager, Windows Explorer, Control Panel and Internet Explorer, or back to my desktop view. Now, if I right-click on this Metro interface, I've got an All Apps that pops up. And when I click on that, I personally think this maybe should you know, be a default view or a little bit easier to get to. 
Okay, then it categorizes my app. So I do have very quick access to the various utilities, you know, event viewer, uh, the resource monitor, performance monitor, task schedulers, the firewall, uh, those kinds of things at the Windows system. We've got command prompt, computer, PowerShell, Windows Explorer. You know, I have very quick access to any of these things. I would be able to just simply click on them and it would open uh, that utility. To get back, close, hit the Windows key, right click, all apps, and we're back at that same screen. And then we can access uh, another, you know, potentially a, a, another utility. Now, who knows, the jury's still out on what Microsoft will add to this area or what we might be able to permanently add. I mean, currently I can go to all apps, but I can't really do anything with that. I can't uh, you know, uh, what am I able to do? Well, I can right click it. I shouldn't say I can't do anything. I could right click it. I can pin it to start, pin it to the taskbar, open a new window. We can, we have a, a couple of things. Now, I'm not going to want to do that with this, but let's try that with heat with this and we'll pin it to start. Now, what did that actually do? And there you have it. You do have the ability to modify. Okay. So if you want other applications in your start, all you simply need to do is go to those applications. I choose that as one. Let's say backup. We want to pin to start. You know, start is no longer uh, an icon down here. You know, instead, start, <coughs> excuse me, is the metro interface. Okay? Now, if you would like to move these around, you certainly can do that. I have full uh, drag and drop capabilities here, and I can, I can move this stuff. Uh, as need be. So uh, that same interface, uh, the tiled interface, is the primary method of navigation uh, that you have in Windows Server 8. And as we saw, the navigation in Windows Explorer now includes the uh, uh, includes that that ribbon toolbar. So so those are some of the initial, just kind of cosmetic at first glance uh, changes, and that's what we wanted to take a glance at in this first look. Thank you for viewing our short demo video. For more information on K-Alliance's e-learning videos, please visit us at www.kalliance.com or call us at our U.S. toll-free number 1-800-330-9111.